Good morning. It's Friday morning in Las Vegas and we are at the Venetian Resort. We are about to look at the shopping possibilities here and the reason is that the Venetian is in the middle of everything and a lot of folks come here to shop. The Venetian is also a convention hotel and while let's just say dad is at the convention, mom may go shopping. We have just come in from the parking area and we are here and you can get your morning coffee and a little something to eat at the coffee bean and tea leaf. Um, you can buy some souvenirs at the Santa Fe Trail. You can go downstairs to the casino. You can look at this big sign. Apparently um, a bar or a brewing company is about to move in. And we're going to take a look at all the shopping possibilities here. I love to shop. If you're a little insecure about how you look, I guess you can stop in here. Lioness Beauty Bar. Oh, God, God. She seems to be selling things. <laughs> so if you want to buy, you can. If all the walking in uncomfortable shoes is weighing you down, you can stop here at Skechers and find some comfortable shoes. I don't think you need sunglasses indoors, but if you want to go outdoors, you can get them here. In this crowded area, we are about to take a look at the Grand Canal shops. And a lady just stopped us and promised us the moon, an inexpensive gondola ride, etc if we would look at their timeshare. Well, I live in Las Vegas, so I don't need a Las Vegas timeshare. Need a map? There is a great, huge map at the entry to the Grand Canal shops, and you can look up your favorite stores. It is hot in Las Vegas these days, and this little uh, shop is called Minus 5 Degrees Ice Experience, and I guess it's some kind of fancy snow cones. Well, if you're into it, here they are. In addition to the snow cones, you can actually go into an ice bar. The prices are $24, $49, and $75. It depends on just uh, what a cool experience you desire. And if you need oxygen to go along with your snow cones, it's right across the hall. And not to be uh, denied, we have a Casanova tapas bar also. I think it opens later. In the dark over there is a store that's called Houdini's, which may have magic, um, magic things. <laughs> and we were also stopped by another timeshare guy here. So watch out. In the middle of everything, a very welcome sign, restrooms. And then, this is a popular place, Prime Burger, Boutique Burgers, Crafted Fries, Spirits and Shakes. Look at all the folks here. Well, it is around noon, so a perfect place to have lunch. Across the street is Gus Dean's Ice Cream Parlor dessert, but in between, look at this. If you need a mask and you're one of those folks who likes to be noticed, there are a whole bunch of varieties here that light up and uh, say, look at me. Great sign. I like big buns. Authentically Indian, uh, not too 
many folks here, but the lights are on. And right next to Johnny Rockets, the original hamburger, Social Life. Whoops, I just bumped into a chair. With beer and pizza and Panda Express. No matter what you like to eat, it's all here at the Venetian. Oh, and I forgot across the way, Subway is here also. A familiar sign. <laughs> However, it normally doesn't say gift shop under it, but welcome to Las Vegas gift shop. And there are lots of ways to remember your visit to Las Vegas. T-shirts and caps and more T-shirts. Torio Raggiano and it looks like it is for folks who like lunch in a sit-down atmosphere. Casinos always have jewelry stores in case of a big win and a need to spend that money somewhere. This is Ben Gionelli and Company, I think. Um, guess they don't have a lot of winners in here at the moment, but the lights are on and the jewelry looks good. I'm old and can't remember some things. I can't remember what we call these food trucks, but there seems to be one right in the middle of the hallway here at the Venetian, and some folks are quite interested. Lighting stores are all over Las Vegas, and there's one here at the Venetian, too. Brighton stores are really fun to um, walk around in and look at and find out what's new. And if you want to spend your big winnings or at least the money you brought to gamble with and decided not to gamble, there is Signature Galleries and look at They have all kinds of stuff here. Um, Big things, small things, glass things. I imagine they ship them to you. This is quite a store. There are two of us here, and both of us are mature, so mature that we have lost the sense of smell in a big way. So we would not be stopping here at this store, but this is where younger folks would go to buy things that smell very sweet. Need a boyfriend who won't talk back? We are at Source Electronics, and let's hope this gentleman can do a few chores around the house as well. Palafano is another store, and it seems to have some items that are rather extreme. But if you need to have something in your place that is the center of attraction and full of questions, you might come to Califano. And here's another unusual store, Karma and Luck. And over here on this sign, it talked about manifestation and feng shui. Um, making life more meaningful. Um, I think life's pretty meaningful as it is, but uh, if you need a little help, karma and luck are here. This store title is uh, what it's meant to be, socks and bottoms, and I can see a bunch of socks on display here. And right across the street is Inglot, a bunch of makeup. So from top to bottom, you are covered here at the Venetian. Dora, more jewelry, it looks like, and customers. Uh, I just received a free remove the neck wrinkles demonstration for a system that costs a mere $1,200. It worked instantaneously when the demonstration was being but uh, anyway, $1,200 was too much.
around, a child is having a meltdown, but here we are for all seven mankind. Looks like, well, I was going to say a men's store, but a ladies' store with a masculine bent. Now we see another title, The Wide Leg. Modern updates, so if you want the torn jean look, you can come to the Venetian, and somehow I think you would not be paying $24.95. Here's the view from the canal shop's balcony. Quite nice. I'm sure this is the young man that had the meltdown. His father is talking him out of it. And that is a cross from the coach store. Lots of purses. Something I don't need any of. But if you need a purse, coach is here. More purses. A toile. in the road. I don't know how many <laughs> we can cover here. Miner's Gems is coming. Kate Spade purses. Louis Vuitton. Wow, lots of stores here. I don't know what a trustworthy brewing company is, but it is here, a brewery that you can trust in case there are some that you can't trust. I think our little man is uh, all well again and uh, is touring the area. Something I didn't expect to see at the Venetian, Bowman Rare Books. display called Pharma Box. Name Lolly and Pops, but I don't think it's open yet. There is stuff in here to eat and drink. This is Criat, Ignite, Quench, and Refuel. I don't know what this store does because they have nothing in the window that uh, I can see, but it's called Revive, I think. This is an intriguing place called the X Pot, and the, the core is dark and beautiful, and apparently they serve lunch. Spot for lunch called the Alley. Not too many folks have found their way to the Alley, however, and it is lunchtime. From the alley is a huge bar, a huge bar. Doesn't seem to have a name that I could see right away, but it's large. Another store to know about if you want to be noticed is called Valiant. Look at the sparkles. This dog almost looks like a statue. I don't know quite what he or she is doing here, but uh, beautiful the animal. We are right by Rinaldi's restaurant and the backwards Grand Canal shop sign, and there's entertainment here too. This is Mod's Museum of Dream Space. 
Well, I don't know what that means, but here it is. Shoes by Stuart Weitzman. The Venetian has beautiful entrances and from the balcony, we can see this one. Want to spend some more money on purses and shoes? Try Jimmy Shoe. Finally, a men's store, St. Croix. Next to the men's store is a window that says suit supply, and it looks like a lady is altering the suit right where we can walk. Remember Mont Blanc as a pen, but I guess they sell other things as well. This is a big store. <laughs> Salvatore Ferragamo, I remember that name. When I was working, I thought it was neat to have a Ferragamo shoe. Then I had my bunions fixed and they didn't fit anymore. This is the other side of Louis Vuitton, and there are people looking in the window, people in the store. Looks like there's a line. They're only allowing so many people in the store. Well, neat. That makes it seem very exclusive. The name of this gallery is AG, and look at their beautiful picture for sale. What a lovely message. It's not quite time for happy hour, but uh, I have done all the walking I intend to do at the Venetian. If you come to Las Vegas and you want to shop, don't um, leave out the Venetian. And certainly if you are sending a family member to a convention, bring your pocketbook and have a good time.